This week on Ninja Lab, we take a look at the qualifiers for the ATP Obstacle Gym and the Grit Ninja, which features the return of the Angry Birds. What? <laughs> Alright, anyway, hello, my name is William, and let's get started with the results for ATP Obstacle Gym. In third place for the adult females was the mermaid, Charity LeBlanc. Charity was able to get through some of the earlier obstacles, like the pipe balance and the monkey bar mat dodge, but unfortunately, when she reached the Ben's Funky Salmon Ladder, she was unable to make her way through the obstacle. She got hung up on the ladder, and when she attempted to lache to the finish, she was unable to and was disqualified. This, however, was able to allow her to qualify for the World Championship in February. In second place was Caitlin Bergstrom. Caitlin was looking pretty good on the course and was actually able to reach Ben's Funky Salmon Ladder at a pace faster than Charity did. However, as she was making her way up the obstacle, she unfortunately fell off the top and ended her run right there. But she does add nine more points to her total. And in first place was Ashley McConville. Ashley was the only woman who was able to complete Ben's Funky Salmon Ladder and was able to show just how good she is at her endurance by lasting about 12 minutes on the course. She looked strong throughout it, however, when she reached the second to last obstacle, her strength gave out and unfortunately she went down. However, the good news is that with that first place finish, she adds 10 more points to her season total. Good job, Ashley. You'd have earned it. The adult male division was a real race to the finish. In third place was Frank Deham, who was able to complete this long and grueling course in a time of 7 minutes and 25.23 seconds. His performance qualifies him for the World Championship in February. In second place was Ronald Washington. Ronald was able to shave a little more than 30 seconds off of Frank's time by finishing with a total time of 6 minutes and 51.7 seconds. Not much else to say about his run other than it was very smooth and fast enough for second place.
and in first place was the Cake Ninja, David Wright. David certainly had all the right moves on the course, as he was able to complete the whole thing with a time of 6 minutes and 38.82 seconds. That strong performance adds 10 more points to his total season score. Remember, don't forget to check out NationalNinja.com for the full schedule of upcoming qualifiers, including our World Championship in February. And now it's time for our comment question of the week. In the spirit of Thanksgiving, what ninja-related thing are you thankful for the most? Let us know in the comments below. And now let's wrap things up with the results of the Grit Ninja Qualifier. Grit had a great course. In third place for the women was Rachel D. Gutz. Rachel looked good early on, but she slowed down a bit on the wind chimes, and then unfortunately she went out on the uphill-downhill balance tank, which was a real stopgap for a lot of competitors. In second place was everyone's favorite teacher, Alyssa Beard. Alyssa had a very smooth start on the course, but when she got to the uphill downhill balance tank, she took her time and after a tense moment was able to complete the obstacle. Unfortunately, she surprisingly went down on the very next obstacle, the hazard cones. And in first place for the women was Abby Clark. After a very scary completion of the uphill-downhill balance tank, Abby became the only woman who was able to get past the hazard cones. And after a great effort getting through the ring of fire, she unfortunately came up short on the Angry Birds obstacle. And don't worry everyone, it's only the front half of the Angry Birds, not the whole thing. Only three people were able to beat the Angry Birds. One of those people was our third place male finisher, Judas Licadario. Judas had a bit of a scary moment on the uphill downhill balance tank, but after getting past that moment, he was smooth sailing throughout. And after a clever skip through one of the holds of the Angry Birds, he was able to complete the entire course in 2 minutes and 11.63 seconds. In second place was David Cavanaugh. Similar to Judas, David had a bit of a scary moment on the balance tank, but afterwards the King of Baltimore was able to do a double skip on the Angry Birds and was able to finish the course with a time of 1 minute and 58.91 seconds. A very solid run by Cavanaugh. And in first place for the adult men was Joe Moroski. The weatherman looked very smooth on the course overall and after 
blazing through the ring of fire with an interesting technique, he was able to blast through the angry birds and was able to complete the entire course in 1 minute and 27.05 seconds. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to know when new videos go live and make sure you watch full videos from this year's qualifiers. See you later.